Hi, I'm Demon Killer and in this video we are going to walk through how we can make Windows 7 or Windows 10 bootable uh, sticks using Ubuntu 20.04 LTS or basically any Ubuntu version but in this case I'm using Ubuntu 20.04 LTS so first let's open web browser and we need to search in Wo USB PPA and we want to go to the uh, official website which is the webupd8.org go ahead and look down scroll down and then we need to copy this uh, repository so we need to add this uh, repository to our uh, system so let us just paste it here and then type in your password when you are prompted to and press enter So now that this is done, uh, let us update our system, sudo apt update and now we want to install wo usb, so we will type in sudo apt install wo usb. Now if you are on windows 16.0, uh, I'm sorry, if you are on ubuntu 16.04, 18.04 or 19.04, 19.10, this should happen, uh, this procedure when, once we click enter will happen without any issue but now that I'm going to click enter uh, in Ubuntu 20.04 you should get this message libw whatever whatever is not available and it's not in uh, it can't be found so let's just copy this and go to a web browser open a new tab paste it and type in package and here uh, we have the package ubuntu.com go there and click on now see if you saw my video uh, where I showed how to install VirtualBox uh, in Ubuntu 20.04 uh, you might have noticed I told you that uh, even though we don't have the official uh, release we can always go for the latest uh, release so here as you can see we have uh, releases for Xenial and Bionic and Eon but we don't have release for uh, Focal Fossa so we can just go with Eon, come down here and uh, click on your architecture. So in most cases, if you're running Intel or AMD CPUs, it's just going to be AMD 64. Come here and then uh, click on that. And then you can download, uh, click on any of these links to download. So I think the first links of your region uh, works. So I'm in Asia, I'm just going to click on the first link and then I'm going to save this file. So once that's done, I'm going to go to my downloads folder and then uh, I'm going to right click and then open with other application and then I'm going to software install. So it's going to open our uh, Ubuntu software and then we can install it. I will put uh, the link of this website in the description so you can just go and go ahead and click on it right now let's see what's the progress yes so our software center has opened and let's click on install you'll be prompted to type in your password and you should give it some time to install so now that is done let's come back to our terminal and let's uh, install OSB again and now as you can see it uh, is installing without any issues now this procedure is only for Ubuntu 20.04 uh, but if you are on an older uh, Ubuntu version say 16.04, 18.04, 19.04 you don't have to do this you can just install OSB now let's clear the screen and I want to show you that I have my uh, devices mo device mounted here, my pen drive mounted here and how I need to uh, find its name so I'm going to type in uh, there's two ways to do this so the more appro appropriate way is to type in sudo fdisk-l and you should see something like this uh, so this is my pen drive this is 7.57 GBs now if you do not have uh, root access so you can also always go ahead and type lsblk 
so you will get to know your pen drive right now it is mounted it is uh, burnt with ubuntu 20.04 lts iso but uh, that's not really what we need but we need this name sdb so let's uh, the, our drives are here we need to unmount it so let's unmount it by typing u mount slash dev slash sdb with a star and now uh, as you can see over here the icons have disappeared and our drive is unmounted now we can clear the screen and i'm going to type in sudo wo usb and then dash dash target dash file system we are going to uh, leave a space here and then type in ntfs in capital and then i'm going to type in dash dash device and now I need to locate my ISO. So let's open a new instance of a terminal and my ISO is located in the home directory. So this is my Windows 7 ISO. In this video, we are going to look at Windows 7, but you can always go ahead and install uh, burn Windows 10 or win Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. So let's copy this and I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to paste uh, the location where I want to burn this ISO to. So I'm going to uh, type in dash slash dev slash sdb so again for those of you who did not understand you need to go sudo fdisk dash l and you need to obviously type in your password and this is uh, the location for my so my so in my case it's slash dev slash sdb it could be anything in your case if uh, depending on the number of uh, drives you have probably if you connected two to three pen drives there could be different names so be very sure about that and i would suggest that please just uh, insert one pen drive at a time so you won't uh, be confused now once that is done you want to press enter and uh, oh sorry i made a mistake in typing a uh, wo usb so it's going to be this press enter and as you can see uh wo usb is now uh making a bootable drive so ubuntu 20.04 was in our uh, pen drive but now that is going to be wiped off uh, the file system is going to be ntfs like you can see here it's creating ntfs volume structures and with that going now it will copy all the files into our pen drive so this is it guys uh, this is how we uh, create bootable windows uh, USB sticks so this procedure was for Windows 7 particularly because I had been requested to uh, make the Windows 7 on uh, Ubuntu 20.04 video but you can do this on any Ubuntu distribution and uh, you can create bootables for any Windows uh, version and uh, I showed you the discrepancies in Ubuntu 20.04 so you can uh, always look at that if you like the video please do subscribe for more such content and uh, thank you have a nice day so once the copying has finished it will install um, grub and other things and once the whole procedure is done uh, you can see this message you may now safely detach the target device target device should be bootable now so let's do a boot test